League winners. Let the pros show you how to make money. General Manager Al DeMarco, a regular contributor on Fox Sports, MSNBC, and Comcast Sports TV, brings over 25 years of handicapping experience to the table. CEO Steve Budin, the author of Bets, Drugs, and Rock and Roll, is the man responsible for creating the online betting industry. Together, they lead PickNation.com, your number one source for winners. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the countdown to kickoff. My name is Steve Budin. I am the president and CEO of PickNation.com, and this is the only show on TV, internet, or the radio that actually breaks down the NFL games from a point spread perspective. My partner, Al DeMarco, will not be joining us this week. He's on vacation. I was on vacation last week. Al brings a different philosophy to the game than I do. He looks at the games from a journalist perspective. He was a guy that used to follow the teams as a beat writer in the locker rooms. Me, they didn't let me anywhere close to the locker rooms. I'm the former largest bookmaker in the world, and the philosophy I bring is that I've got crews, I've got sources, people that I go to for information, people whose bets I respect, because when I was a bookmaker back in the day, those are the guys that I used to chase out of my operation. Now I've joined forces with them to bring the people something they've never gotten before, and that is true inside information from the insiders. We've got a great show today. We're going to talk about all the big games on the board, starting first with the Bears at the Packers. The Packers, three-point favorites at home. And look, this game should be sponsored by the makers of Percocet, because let me tell you something. Both of these teams are banged up, and Chicago has it much, much worse. Middle linebacker Brian Erlacher, he's out. Cornerback Tim Jennings is hurt, and quarterback Jay Cutler, he nearly got decapitated last game. The Bears are 1-4 in four their last five games, and that means one thing, and one thing only, they've got no momentum whatsoever to bring into this game, and it's true. While the Packers have fallen far short of everyone's expectations this year, that may suck for them, but it's actually beneficial to the gamblers who are now going to get a value in this line. Because let's face it, if the Packers had a great season this year, they'd be laying 10 here. But they're only laying three. Let's go to the Packers, minus three on this one. Guys, next game up is the Giants at Atlanta, but before we get into this game, I want to talk to you about DraftStreet.com. They are our sponsor. If you go to PickNation.com, you'll see the ad for DraftStreet.com. We run a contest every single week. You hear about it on this show. You can win up to $500 just for playing this fantasy football contest. And guys, let me tell you, this isn't the fantasy football that my grandmother used to play. This is instant gratification, daily fantasy football. You're going to pick all your teams before the games start on Sunday, and then Monday you will know the winner. Again, a chance to win up to $500. Now, let's get into the second game. It is Giants at Atlanta, and let me tell you something. Veteran teams with veteran quarterbacks and veteran head coaches, they know the importance of playing their best ball headed into the postseason. We see it with New England, we see it with Denver, and now we see it with the New York Giants. So what do we see with Atlanta? Hmm. Lack of balance on offense. Guys, Atlanta cannot run the ball. That makes it hard to create an effective offensive game plan because as the defense, you can dare Atlanta to run and sit back on the pass. And even if you're Matty Ice, that's going to make things very tough for you. Add to that fact that this is a must win for the Giants with the Redskins and Dallas nipping on their heels. And I like Big Blue in this one, plus the points. Next game, we're going to talk about Tampa Bay Bucks at New Orleans Saints. New Orleans Saints, a three and a half point favorite. And guys, things have not gone good for the Saints so far this year. Let's face it, after the worst offseason possible, uh, they had Bounty Gate, uh, suspended head coach. Did you really think that things were going to go 
any different for the Saints this year. Surprisingly enough, a lot of gamblers actually did. They thought that this is the same Saints team with Drew Brees, like the Super Bowl champions from two years ago. Guys, I got news for you. They're not. They're on a three-game losing streak. Drew Brees, nine interceptions. In that three-game stretch, guys, you got to ask yourself this question. Last time Tampa Bay lit up New Orleans Saints, they're going to do it again because the Saints have no defense. Go with the Bucks here, plus the three and a half points. Guys, next game on the board is the Broncos and the Ravens. What a great game. But before we get to it, I want to talk to you about the all-access pass, guys. If you go ahead over to picknation.com, you'll see a big yellow ad front and center that says all-access pass. This is the greatest deal on the Internet. No other handicapping company offers this type of deal. This is where we pull back the curtain and actually allow you to see what paying customers get for their money, even though it's absolutely free. So you're going to get every single play, from every single handicapper, all the analysis, everything that premium members get, and you don't have to pay one dime. It's called the All Access Pass, and you should check it out on picknation.com. All right, let's get into the Broncos, Ravens, Denver, a three-point favorite at home, and I'm not going to waste a lot of time talking about or worrying about why Denver is not a six and a half point favorite. You see, the mistake that a lot of gamblers make is they look at a line and they're so concerned about whether it's a trap or not that they don't take a gimme when a gimme is given to them. Look, this is a situation where public perception of a team is actually far greater than the team itself. Guys, this is not the Ravens team from yesteryear. They used to be tough. They used to be physical on defense. Not anymore. I've said it before. Downtown Baltimore is actually way more dangerous than the Ravens' defense these days. Guys, this is a Ravens team that lost to 37-year-old Charlie Batch just two weeks ago. Now they're getting three points versus Denver. Are you smoking crack? Listen to me. For all you delusional Ravens betters out there that are keeping this line so low, stick this in your pipe. The Denver Broncos, eight-game winning streak. They're just a better team. Peyton Manning understands that at the end of the year, this is the time that he want to play his best ball. We're going to go with Denver here, an early Christmas gift. Guys, in the next game, we're going to talk about the Colts and the Texans. They're playing in Houston. Texas, an eight and a half point favorite. They are a big favorite because obviously they're 11 and two this year. And even though Houston was embarrassed on national TV last week by Tom Brady and the Patriots, that's only going to fuel their fire as they try to right the ship this week. And the last time that Houston was embarrassed on national TV was week six against the Packers. Green Bay crushed Houston 42 to 24 in that blowout. And then the next week, what did Houston do? <laughs> they drubbed the Ravens, 43-13. And like they say in love and war, guys, payback is a bitch. In this game, there's only one way to play it. It's the Houston Texans. History will repeat itself. I'm laying the eight and a half because anything under double digits is far too low. Once again, we're going with the Houston Texans, minus eight and a half, and guys, I just want to take this time to remind you one more time about the contest on our site. DraftStreet.com, our sponsor on the site, every single week does a contest. It's a $500 cash prize. It's absolutely free. It doesn't matter if you've entered this contest every single week. You can continue to enter it because it's absolutely free. Even if you've won it, go ahead and try to win it again. So now we're going to talk about the Steelers and the Cowboys. And guys, if this game was 35 years ago, it would be pretty exciting. You know, it would be Bradshaw uh, against Staubach and nothing short of a Super Bowl atmosphere. But you fast forward this 35 years, and I'm sorry. This game, guys, it's a complete yawner. I get more excited over a 250-pound stripper than I get over this game. Guys, Dallas 
Worst home team for gamblers I've ever seen. 0-6 against the spread this year. Cowboys have seven wins altogether. Six of them come by a touchdown or less, guys. This game is completely up for grabs, and you have to ask yourself, coming down in the fourth quarter, who do you want to go with, Big Ben or Tony Romo, guys? This is an easy one. It's another early Christmas present from your main man, Steve-O, Pittsburgh Steelers, minus the two and a hook. For the last game on the board and the best game on the board, we go to San Francisco at the New England Patriots. Patriots, five and a half point favorites at home. And guys, they're obviously playing great ball. I've said it before, they're another team that understands. Veteran team, veteran coach, veteran quarterback. They know how important it is to play their best ball going into the postseason. That's exactly what they're doing now. Tom Brady, MVP so far this season. He lit up the Texans last week like a freaking bonfire, and then he correctly got on TV and he said, we can't spend a lot of time celebrating this win because we have bigger plans for the season. That's how a winner talks. That's how a leader talks. That's how a veteran who knows damn well that there's not a lot of time left and not a lot of opportunities left for him to play in and win Super Bowls. And guys, at the end of the day, he's trying to seize the moment. The other thing about New England that makes him so tough is their defense finally showed up. It's four years later, and Belichick finally gets the defense to show up. That's what's going to make them contenders for the Super Bowl this year. And certainly, that's what makes them the play. Minus five and a half at home against the 49ers. And guys, this has been a great show this week. It's been a little fast. It's been a little furious. But I hope you enjoyed it. Come back next week and every week right here on FoxSports.com as we bring you the countdown to kickoff.